Hello everyone! I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop and guess what? The time has finally come to begin our Guiding Stars Quilt Along. We have been talking about this since the new release party where I talked about this coming out and people were so in love with it right off the bat because it was very nostalgic for people. It brought back a lot of memories, a lot of connections with family. So we decided to do this as a quilt along and we are ready to kick it off today. And I am so excited to sew this beautiful fabric with you. You guys, this fabric is gorgeous. Just wait until you dive into this kit. So let me tell you a little bit about it. The name of this quilt is called Guiding Stars. It is, it features the Songbook Fabric Collection by Fancy That Design House for Moda Fabrics. And so this kit comes in this beautiful keepsake box. Mine isn't closed properly because I've had it open getting fabrics out. And then all of your beautiful fabrics are inside. And um, we are gonna tackle this week by week and we are going to put together this quilt. It looks like it should be pretty straightforward, so I'm hoping within about a month we'll have a finished quilt. We're gonna take it just step by step, chunk by chunk, and then pretty soon we'll have a whole uh, complete quilt to enjoy. So this week we are gonna focus on nine flying geese blocks. That's our focus for this week. I'm gonna go through with you how to make two of them, one in each fabric way, and then you can make the other um, seven. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seven by yourself. Did I mention that it is really hot and humid here and it may be impacting my brain. This morning it was like a fall morning where it was rainy and it was in the 60s. It was, it was really chilly. And then this afternoon the sun has come out and oh my gosh, I feel like I'm melting. Anyway, so let's start our Guiding Stars quilt along. Also, let me give you some a heads up. Each week we're gonna try to give away a little prize to people for joining our quilt along. So the prizes are good for people who reserved and purchased their quilt kit through Happy Little Stitch Shop as a thank you for um, uh, supporting our business and supporting our family shop. I really appreciate that. And of course, as a thank you for joining our quilt along because the more people we have interacting with our community, the better and the more fun that it is. So each week we're gonna to try to give away a little prize. In order to qualify to win the prize, number one, you need to be a, a shipping address in the United States. Number two, you need to follow Happy Little Stitch Shop on Instagram or Facebook, pay no attention to Henry. Number three, you need to subscribe to our Happy Little Stitch Shop YouTube channel. And number four, this is what, you know, a big one. You need to share your progress each week on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag Happy Little Stitch Shop and the hashtag Guiding Stars QAL. So Guiding Stars QAL. Share all of your progress each week. And every time I see it, I write down a person's name and they go into a drawing and then I will draw a name from all of the posts that I saw that week uh, sharing their progress. So hopefully we can have a little fun as we make this quilt together. So today we are focusing, like I said, on our flying geese blocks. This is the goal. This is what we want to have come together. There are two fabric ways that we're making them in. For this one, in this fabric way, we're making five of these. And in the other fabric way, we are making four of them. So I've put together a couple just to kind of get my bearings and make sure I know what I'm talking about. And now I am going to go through uh, making one with you. So let's focus on these two fabrics. If we wanna look down <clears throat> at, the, at the cutting space here, I will show you what we need. So we have two fabrics that we're working with. First of all, this one, and you're going to need, I'm not gonna give you cutting dimensions because you have that in the pattern and I don't want to uh, break any rules, but you're gonna need to, both of these. For this size, for the blocks that we're gonna be making, for the five blocks, you will need 20 of these. For the smaller size, for the five blocks that we're making, you're gonna need 20 of those as well. Then the second pattern or fabric that we're using is this one. And for this size, for the five blocks that we're making, 
you will need 40 of these. And for this bigger size, you're gonna need five of those. So once you have all of your fabric cut up, you can go ahead and get all that stuff cut up and then come on back here and we're gonna start making our flying geese blocks. Okay, did you guys did you guys get all of your pieces cut up? Hopefully it went smoothly. Um, I'm not sure how much extra fabric we have in this kit, so I'm cutting very carefully just in case. Um, but let's go ahead and start our flying geese block. Remember, we're gonna work on one. I'm just gonna show you how to make one, so all of the quantities that I'm showing you are based on one block. So to start off, let's take a peek here. We're gonna make four flying geese, which then we're gonna add other pieces to. So the first step is to take one of these squares and we're gonna put right sides together on the left side of the flying geese block, okay? And then we are going to sew diagonally from here to here. Now, if you like to draw a diagonal line on the back here, if that is easier for you, then go ahead and do that. I recently started using um, a Seam So Easy guide, so that means that I don't have to draw that diagonal line on there anymore, and it saves a lot of time. I would recommend either the Seam So Easy guide or the Cluck Cluck Sew Seam Tape. Um, both are excellent choices for putting them on your machine so that you don't have to draw lines on all of these uh, squares for doing your flying geese. So I'm gonna take the four of these to my sewing machine. I'm gonna do all four at once and I'm gonna sew that diagonal line on all four of them. So come on over to my sewing machine and I'll show you quick how I do that. Okay guys, we're at my sewing machine. I have all four of my blocks here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew a line from here down to here. And this is the Seam So Easy guide that I was talking about. This is um, uh, the Seam So Easy guide by Lori Holt for Riley Blake Designs. We also have uh, the Cluck Cluck Sew Seam Tape, which is the same thing as this. It has three lines, one to line up with your needle, and then it gives you a quarter inch seam allowance on either side. It makes it really uh, simple and smooth to do your diagonal uh, sewing with this line. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up this corner up here with my needle, with where my needle comes down, and I'm gonna line up this corner down here with this line. And as long as I watch this and I feed it in, keeping this corner on this line, then my stitch should be just fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, chain piece these together so that it goes a little bit faster. Just gonna make sure you have the right Make sure you have the right angle. And then the last one here. is not lined up the best, so gotta get it squared up. Still not lined up the best. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my handy dandy tool here. We have these in the shop, they're called blade savers. So you take your old rotary blade cutter that maybe isn't sharp enough to cut your fabric anymore, but it's sharp enough to cut little threads. And then you can just cut these apart just like that. And then I'll meet you back at the um, cutting station and we're gonna cut a quarter inch away from this diagonal line that we just sewed. 
Okay guys, now we're ready to trim a quarter inch away from the uh, seam we, we just sewed. I'm gonna do this to all the blocks that we just sewed together. And then I'm gonna take them over to my ironing station and I'm gonna press them open. Okay, now I'm gonna take these over to the ironing station. I'm gonna press them open, and then I'll meet you back here and we'll add the blocks to the other side. Okay, everybody, I've gone ahead and I've pressed each of uh, my blocks open, and now we are ready to add the other side to your flying geese uh, section of this block. So I'm gonna take all four of these over and we're going to sew from here down to this bottom uh, right corner. So from here to here on all four of these. Okay guys, so we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing for uh, this side as we did for the other one. I'm going to chain these to get together. Starting where it meets the other navy block and working down to that outside corner. Again, I'm paying close attention to this bottom corner and making sure it lines up with that line all the way in. blade saver and I will cut these apart and then I'm going to go trim them again and press them open and I'll meet you back at the cutting station. Okay now we have all of our little flying geese pieces done all four of them and now we are ready to piece together the rows of the block. It's going to be that quick. It's lickety split. So let's take a peek. I've got it all laid out. I've got all the puzzle pieces laid out. And now we just need to put them all together. So first I'm going to start with uh, this and I'm going to stack them up, take them over to my machine and sew this row together. I'm also, since this is identical, I'm going to take this one with me and sew both of these together. And then I'm going to press them open. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to get this one and sew it all together, quarter inch seam, press that open, and then I'm going to sew the this row, this row, and this row together. Okay, so then we'll be back and I'll share with you my finished block once we're all done. Okay guys, how did your piecing go? Did you get your block all pieced together okay? Mine went pretty well. Let's take a peek. Once you have it all pieced together, this is when you wanna take an eight and a half inch square ruler and just make sure that you don't need to trim your square your block in any, in any way, which I don't. This is an eight and a half inch square ruler by Lori Holt. It's a, a trim it ruler that we have in the shop and those come in very handy uh, for squaring up blocks. So now I have my three blocks done. I have two more to add in these fabrics and then we have four to make in the other fabrics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start pulling the fabrics that we need for the other blocks and I'm gonna start cutting those up and then I will come back with you and uh, we'll piece together one of those so that we can see how that one looks in the different fabrics. And then we'll be all set for this week. So go ahead and start cutting up and piecing together these beautiful blocks and I will be back with you shortly. Okay guys, are you ready to make our final four blocks? We made the other five from these fabrics and now we are ready to make four more from these fabrics. So let's take a peek at the fabrics we need and then we'll piece it together. This is it. You need this uh, kind of sagey green leaf fabric and then you need this with all of the hashtag lines on it. Uh, for this size of the green, 
you are going to need 16 of these. For this size of the green, you're gonna need 16 of those. For this size of the gray, you are going to need 32. And for this size, you're gonna need four. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure you have all that stuff cut up and then we will come back and we will start to piece together a block. I will show you how to do one and then you'll have to do the remaining three and then that'll be it. Nine blocks for this week and we'll be done with week one of our Guiding Stars uh, so long. So go ahead and look at your pattern, cut up those two fabrics for these four blocks and then I'll meet you right back here. Okay guys, did you get all your pieces cut up? Now it's time to start piecing together our flying geese. So let's take a peek at how we're gonna put these together. It's just like the previous ones we did. So we have this size of the green leaf pattern and we have one of the squares from the gray. And we're gonna put it on the left-hand side of this piece and we are going to sew a diagonal from corner to corner. And we're gonna do it for all four of these. And then we are going to um, trim those at a quarter inch and then press them open. So come on over to the sewing machine with me and we will sew the diagonal on these four blocks. So guys, we're sewing these four blocks together. And again, I am, <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat, sorry. Um, I'm gonna chain these together, chain piece these together, lining it up, lining it up with my Seam Sew Easy Guide making sure that that bottom point follows that mid middle line on my seam so easy guide. It saves so much time from drawing diagonals on every single square. I was always scared to do it before. I couldn't, I couldn't take the plunge. I thought, nope, I need that line. And uh, then I started using this guide. I almost thought I needed the back stitch there. I started to use this guide and uh, now it's a lot better. And then again, I grab my uh, blade saver and I'm gonna cut all of those apart. And then I'll meet you back at the table and we'll trim our quarter inch uh, seam for these. Okay guys, I am just trimming the quarter inch seam for these flying geese pieces. Lining up my quarter inch line and trimming off that excess. And then I'm going to take these to the ironing station and I'm going to press these all open. And then I will meet you back here to add the blocks to the right side. Okay guys, I got my seams pressed open and now let's take a peek. We're ready to add the other square to the right side. So I have this lined up here, placing it on the right side and we're gonna sew from here to here. So from corner to corner on all of these. And I'm gonna take these over to my machine. I'm gonna do that quick. I'm gonna press them open and then I'll come back and we will put the puzzle together to complete our block. Okay, I have my flying geese completed. They are pressed open and they are ready to put our nine piece puzzle together. Let's take a peek at how it's gonna go together. The V's of the green are always going to face towards the center of the block. So it doesn't matter what piece goes where as long as the green V's are always pointing towards the center. And of course, this big guy goes in the middle then we're gonna add one of these to either side of this, one of these to either side of that. And now I'm just gonna collect my rows and I'm gonna sew those together one by one, press them all open, and then I'm gonna sew the rows together one by one and press the whole thing once it's done. And then I'll meet you back here and share my finished block and we'll wrap up this month. Okay guys, I finished my final block for this month, block nine. Again, we are making four from this fabric colorway and we are making five from this fabric colorway. So I finished my final block. So that is the goal for this week is to try to 
make those nine blocks for this week so we can stay on track for moving on to the next step next week. So that is it for week one for our Guiding Stars Quilt Along. Thank you so much for joining me and a special thank you to Stephanie from Fancy That Design House for designing this gorgeous fabric. Oh my gosh, this fabric is so pretty and I'm so glad we decided to do this quilt along. So I hope you have good luck piecing your blocks and putting them together. And please, please, please share your progress on Instagram and on Facebook. Please be sure you use hashtag happy little stitch shop and also hashtag guiding star QAL. Guiding stars. Guiding stars, Q-A-L, stars with an S, um, so that you can be entered into the prize drawing for next week. We will draw a prize uh, for next week during our live stream or during the video for next week. I will draw a name who will be the winner, but please share all of your progress that's week, this week because that's how you get entered into the drawing for next week. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for joining this quilt along and thank you for getting your kits at Happy Little Stitch Shop. Please go to happylittlestitchshop.com for all of your quilting and cross-stitching goodies. Please be sure you follow Happy Little Stitch Shop on Instagram and or Facebook. Please join our Happy Little Stitchers Facebook group. It's a really great community. You're gonna love it. And please, please subscribe to our Happy Little Stitch Shop YouTube channel. We're trying to grow, 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 and we can only do that with your help. So please be sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on this video to help us uh, get out there more into the YouTube community. Thank you so much, everybody. Happy stitching to you. Have a great week.